During the year in which I've been a junior fellow, I worked on a research project which is on uh, how individuals really change their attitudes and their expenditures at the time of retirement. It helps people to understand what are the real changes that occur around their time and this can help also to design better policy. this was a great opportunity at a very stressful period. So the Royal Economic Society is funding those people who might focus on less trendy topics. You are actually able to teach less and focus mainly on producing innovative research. So I'm Claudia Steinwender. I'm doing my PhD now at London School of Economics. And I worked on one paper that is related to information frictions in international trade because um, in trade it's uh, very important that firms know, have information about other markets, but um, they don't always. I used a historical experiment to shed some light on this. I studied actually the transatlantic telegraph connection um, that was established in 1866 and the impact of that on trade in cotton. So this experiment can be used to understand how firms will react to uh, analyzing big data. My research focuses on explaining why inequality has increased so much over the past three decades in Anglo-Saxon countries. In the past it was likely very talented individuals not managing to go to college. Nowadays it seems that there is all this funding and opportunities so those who remain uneducated are on average of lower talent and this boosts the wage gap between the highly educated and the low educated students. Hi, I'm Dan Rogger, I'm from the University College London and at the Institute for Fiscal Studies. My job market paper is looking at how politicians go about actually changing who implements, which of the bureaucrats implement a public project, and the incentives under which they do so. And then the management paper was asking, well, does management of the public sector, how you construct that formal contract for civil servants, does it matter? We wanted to know what the optimal nature of management was and so we used a very standard uh, set of management tools to find out exactly how you manage civil servants to get the best out of them. I strongly encourage people to apply uh, and uh, participate also at the, the activities of the Royal Economic Society. It helped me psychologically uh, because it was a very stressful year, the year that you're actually completing your PhD but at the same time you are trying to secure a place in the market. To some extent, I owe this to the Royal Economic Society that I managed to complete uh, my thesis on time.